Hello everybody, my name is Yela Roberts and welcome to my channel. Uh, for those of you who've been subscribed for a while, this is something new for you. For those of you who've only just found this channel because of this video, I don't usually do this. If it's received well, um, then I will do it again. I have recreated a makeup look for you today. I've actually recreated the makeup look from Evanescence's new photo shoot with Kerrang! magazine. I'll show you a picture now. I don't know why, but there was something about this makeup that I really loved, which is unusual for me because I usually like a lot darker makeup. I am not a makeup artist. Makeup is something that I've been learning to do this past year, but Something about this gave me good vibes and I really wanted to give it a go. So, if you want to see how to do this look by yourself, then please continue watching. For this look, I used Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara in black, Maybelline Master Precise Liquid Eyeliner in black, and Maybelline Master Drama Coal Liner in black. I used a selection of shading brushes for this and some blending brushes. I also used a packing brush and a pencil brush. I used the Lorac Beginners Collection Summer Eyeshadow Tones Palette and I also used a shimmery pink colour from Asda George. It was uh, for a brow bow and highlight I felt like it was the right choice. And this colour sensational pencil by Maybelline in sweet pink. Amy Lee's lips are quite nude in the photograph so I wanted to keep that. So I've already primed my eyes because I do my eyes when I do my foundation. Um, prime your eyes however you would usually prime them. If you don't usually prime them I would recommend it. Um, I put foundation on my eyelid over the top of some moisturiser and then I pat it down with some powder so it stays um, and I wait for all that to dry before I continue putting anything else on. With eyes primed, where now? And I can't lift this palette up to show you I'm afraid because it's not very sturdy. But first we're going to go into this very light pink, it's almost a peach colour. So we're going to work from the outside of our eyelid in here. We want to angle the brush up because we want to get coverage all over the lid. We want to go right up to where that bone is, just above the crease, and we want to go up over that bone. Even as we work the eyeshadow into the corner of the eye by the nose, we still want to keep it quite high. This is our transitional shade and the eye look for Amy, her eyebrows are fuller than mine and the eye look goes right up to them. So you want to make sure that you're covering that lid, the crease and that bone, you know, just the bottom of that bone quite well. You also want to try and give yourself a little bit of a wing here create a little bit of a wing shape, nothing too dramatic. If you have hooded eyelids, it is always best to go just up over the bottom of the brow bone. Next up we're going to take another one of our shading brushes and we're going to go into this dark pink colour here. This is a much stronger pink. And again, I'm going to work it from the outside of the eyelid in. However, this time you want to keep the brush pretty straight. You want to go up to that crease, but you do not want to go over it. You want to keep this colour focused very much on the eyelid. Don't let it go above the top of that transitional shade. make sure you fill in that little bit of a wing as well. We want this quite heavily saturated so take your time. Please don't rush this. The palette I use, the colours are beautiful and once finished the looks are great. I'm just taking a blending brush here because I'm just gonna blend the edges around. The colours are so good in this palette that they do blend so easy as you're applying them if you apply them with a blending and shading brush but just a little bit of extra blending. Now I'm going to go back into that same pink we were just using but this time I'm going to use the pencil brush 
because this time I want to apply that underneath the eye. We're going to apply it underneath the eye and just make sure we connect it in the inner and outer corner. Now I'm going to take the shading brush I was using for the colour beforehand and I'm just going to use that to blend out. We want to drag this colour down a little bit which is why I did that. Now I'm going to take a packing brush and I'm going to go into a black. You want to go for quite a dark black and a matte black for this. And we just want to very, very carefully here pack this colour gently onto the bottom half of the eyelid. We do not want to cover the whole eyelid with the black. On the look it looks as though she's got just some black just on that bottom bit of the eyelid just to make those blue eyes pop. As good as the colours are from this palette, they do take a lot of building up. <laughs> We're also going to take that black underneath the eye. Now, you can just put eyeliner under the eye and smudge that out. I'm not very good with eyeliner, so I opted for eyeshadow. Now, again, with the brush that you use to apply the second pink shade, you're going to use that brush with some eyeshadow on it to just blend the black into that pink. You're also going to use it to blend out the underneath. Now we're just going to go back into that black and just darken right by the lash line up again. Because we want to make sure that even though it's blended it is still quite saturated. Now on to the liquid eyeliner. I'm using an eyeliner felt. I'm creating it just a little wing. On the picture her hair covers the corner of the eyes so I can't really see if she has a wing or not but I feel like she probably would do. I'm not the best at applying eyeliner as I've said, whether it's coal or liquid, so use whatever technique works for you. Now in with the coal eyeliner, this is the pencil eyeliner and we're just going to do the waterline. I think they had done her tight line but I don't like tight lining. When I eventually do get into this beautiful pink colour <laughs> by Asda George, <laughs> there we go, we're going to apply this with one of the angled brushes right onto the brow bone and as we're applying it we want to blend that transition shade in with it. Now for the final touch we're going to use mascara. It didn't look like Amy was wearing falsies so I didn't opt to put falsies on, however her eyelashes were very saturated, so make sure you give them a good thick coat of mascara. Now lastly, and I almost forgot about this, hence why my hair is now down, I'm just using the lip pencil. Her lips looked nude, but a little bit more pink than is natural, so this is why I've used this pink pencil, just to give that lips a natural bit bit more pigmented look to them. So that was how to do this look. From what I can tell it's pretty accurate. It's hard to tell off of photographs like that especially with the pose that she's pulling. Um, her eyes are quite lifted up so you can't really see the lid and her hair over one is all over her face so we can't really see again. It looked like it had this sort of black of a half of the lid, so that's what I did. I have hooded eyelids and my eyebrows are not the same shape or size as Amy Lee, so the makeup look does look different on me than it did to her. But from what I can tell, this is pretty much it. This is what Beth did and I love it and I hope you really enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel, click the little bell if you would like to stay updated. Usually I do vocal covers and I do vlogs, so if that's something you're interested in, obviously 
a lot of evanescence vocal covers. <laughs> for those of you who have been with my channel for a long time, I really hope that you enjoyed this. See you all again soon. If you did enjoy this, if you do think it's good and you want me to do another one, please leave it in the comment section. Um, this isn't my primary focus. I don't know how often I'll get time to do this, but I will write down and make note of the ones that you asked for and I'll do my best to get to them as and when I can. So thank you very much. Take care of yourselves. Bye.